Wearable devices today are advancing by leaps and bounds. We just cannot get enough of them. All across the world, scientists are looking for ways to make our devices smaller and more flexible to meet the demand of Internet of Things and other technologies of the future. But one of the major limiting factors are the batteries that power them. Lithium-ion batteries are either too bulky or they do not generate enough power. A multinational team spearheaded by scientists from Punjab are trying to build a tiny generator that could power next-gen devices using some very unusual resources like fish scales, animal hair, eggshells and plant fibers. In this episode, I tell you all about triboelectric nanogenerators and how this team led by Indian scientists are using food and plant wastes to power next generation devices. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. A triboelectric nanogenerator or TENG is a small device that can generate electricity from friction or motion. It works by using triboelectric effect, which is the transfer of electrons between two materials that come into contact and then separate. When two different materials are rubbed together, they can create a static charge. As children, we have all played with static electricity, rubbing balloons on our hair to make them stick to walls or plastic scales to pick up small bits of paper. Earlier, this static charge was only thought of as undesirable because we don't want stray charge to be building up on surfaces of our high power devices like a fridge or a microwave. However, in 2012, a group at Georgia Institute of Technology in the US demonstrated that this kind of energy can be harvested by a TENG and converted into usable electricity. A TENG consists of two layers of material that are designed to rub against each other. One layer is made of a material that tends to give up electrons easily, while the other layer is made of a material that tends to hold on to electrons. As the two layers rub against each other, electrons are transferred from one layer to the other, creating a charge. This charge can be collected by electrodes placed on the surface of the TENG and used to power small electronic devices. TENGs can be used to generate electricity from a variety of sources such as movement of a person's body, the wind or the flow of water. They are an attractive option for powering small portable devices because they are lightweight, easy to manufacture and don't require a traditional power source like a battery or an outlet. Now when the Georgia Tech Group developed their TNG, they used polymer sheets but the group from Guru Nanak Dev University in Amritsar are taking things a step further. Instead of polymer sheets, the group looked for alternatives in biocompatible products. They have so far found that eggshells, animal hair and cotton fibers can be used to create nanogenerators. In their latest peer-reviewed research, the link to which you can find in the description box below, the team has used scales from roho fish as the dielectric layer. The team first collected scales from the waste of their local fish market. Fish scales are of course not consumed, so essentially the team was able to obtain these at zero cost. Scales consist of different types of bioproteins, collagen protein, keratin and chitin. These bioproteins are highly electropositive, which means that they quickly lose electrons when they come in contact with other dielectric materials. Now these fish scales are treated as waste material in the fish industry and are available in considerable quantities in fish markets. This material is also biodegradable, biocompatible and non-toxic. The durability and flexibility of the fish scale also make it a solid contender for the fabrication of a flexible TNG. To develop the TENG, the group washed the fish scales in distilled water and ethanol to remove unwanted organic material from the surface. The washed scales were then dried and cut into uniform 1 cm squares. The copper tape was used as conducting electrode, the surface that would actually capture the charge generated. The copper tape was cut in the size of 3 cm by 4 cm square 
and then 12 scales of the area 1 cm square were pasted on the adhesive side of the electrode. These scales cover the whole electrode area. The resulting device can generate electricity when it is rubbed or tapped. Using the device, the team was able to light 90 LEDs of 2 volts each and switch on a calculator. The team also conducted further studies to understand the properties of the fish scales. Micrographs of the fish scale at different magnifications show a well-arranged micro-patterning, which also results in an increasing surface area. The increased surface area enhances the charge transfer when it is used as an active layer in a TENG. Fish scales are composed of 50% carbon, 14% nitrogen and 30% oxygen. The scales were also found to be stable in temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius and the team has so far tested the fish scale TENG's performance for up to 4000 cycles. The team also tested the properties of all the materials they have worked with so far and found that the fish scale is less electropositive than eggshell membrane and dog hair, whereas more electropositive than tree cotton and polymers. This data will help design better TENGs in the future. The applications of TENGs are widespread. They could be used to power pacemaker devices. They can be used to power sensors in all kinds of wearable devices. Moreover, in remote areas where electricity is unavailable, TENGs could be used to power a range of devices. The team will now continue to work on improving their device and check its functionality in real-life wearable devices. That's all for this week. I am Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.